Welcome back for another video. So today's video is gonna be fairly simple. There isn't much to it. It's just basically cleaning out some of the filters I have on my aquaponic system. This aquaponic system that you can see here, the primary filters I'll be cleaning are the radial flow filters that I have on the aquaponic system, which have accumulated quite a bit of gunk. I didn't think they would have as much gunk as they do when I just check them right now, but because of the factor that my water flow going through them is faster than I would like, Radio flow filters, you do need, do need a slower flow rate to go through there based on the size so that you can let that water sell to the bottom. So I do have more gunk than I thought, but basically in this video, I'm going to be cleaning it out. I'll be showing you three different ways that I could theoretically clean it out. I might just use one or two of them. Otherwise, let's get to it. If you haven't seen one of my previous videos, just to give you a little run through, I have filters situated in my aquaponic system on two sides of it. So three filters right here and then three, uh, four filters over here. The filters that I'll be cleaning out, as I mentioned, are the radio flow filters, which I have one right there. That one, this guy over here is supposed to be a radio flow filter, but it's not set up yet, but I will be cleaning it just because solids have settled down at the bottom. This one has a bunch of sponges in it, which I do have to clean as well. And then these two over here, which is that one and this one. So just to show you how much gunk actually accumulated in this first radio flow filter, I use my GoPro if my camera can't get as, or show you as well. But you can kind of make it out. It's a good, I mean, I would say, probably a good two inches thick down there at the bottom. I honestly didn't think it would do this well, just as I mentioned, the water flow going through my system is a little faster than you would like, especially for the size filters that I have, just because you need everything to settle, but there's a fair amount of gunk there. So let me just show you that with the GoPro, and then we'll see from there. There you're able to see how much gunk is actually in this one filter right here, which is quite a bit. As I mentioned, it's literally like three inches at the bottom and then on the sides, maybe like one inch. Otherwise, the first way that I have to clean out this filter was originally how they were set up. I have on each of these filters here, a way to drain them out individually. So there's a pipe that goes down the back over there. So from this one, it goes over here and then down out through there. And then I have valves that I can open and close and it goes out all the way out of my greenhouse. Right over here. The only problem is it's not entirely set up yet. The way it is, since this is quite low, I would have to have a tank down here, basically to catch the water, which I would use as a mineralization tank or just a tank to have the water in there and then put a pump to water the garden. Otherwise, I can't use that way just due to the fact of how low it is if I do want to save the water. If I don't, mind about the water and all the beneficial nutrients or all the fish gunk just going onto the floor then I could just use that but because I want to save the water for the garden I'm not going to do it that way and what I'll do is I'll basically try to store all the water in buckets over here I don't have a mineralization tank or some tank set up to basically process that or keep it but I'll use it here and then water the garden periodically otherwise the two methods that I will do for cleaning the filters which is going to take a bit longer hopefully i save more water doing it this way but the one way is i'll use an aquarium siphon which is this guy right here or basically you can, you can use any hose this is just missing in that missing that part of the end but having this allows me to start it easily and the other method i'll try is using this bucket head shot vac that a subscriber mentioned in one of my previous videos so we'll see how this guy works whether or not I'll keep it or whatnot. But then I'll, it's basically a nice portable shop vac that you just attach to any top, top of the bucket. If you do want one of these, I will post a link in the description to where you can get it on Amazon. But I'd re recommend just to get it at Home Depot or whatnot. Because on Amazon, it's like 80, 90 bucks. At Home Depot, I think it was like 35-ish or something. That's how much I paid for this. So a big difference. What I'm first doing to save water is I'm gonna just drain a fair amount of water out of here into my sump. And then I'll be able to just focus on sucking up the gunk at the bottom. So this pipe just goes down into here. And then from here, it over goes into the sump. I drained the water quite low in this thing. So now you can see pretty much all the gunk in there. Kind of, let's see. Yeah, 
Now with it this little, all I gotta do is take this shot back and just suck it all up. This process does take a lot longer than for say if I would be using the way I have them set up. So I do wanna do that later or have that set up that way for future use just so I can eliminate the time spent on doing this because this is one tank and I still got a few others to do. So by having it drain just out of the system, even though I'll be draining more water out of the aquaponic system doing it that way, which I'll still use on the garden or whatnot, I'll just save time. Or another, I mean, what I can do is just drain them out and then let them settle and then put the water back in the aquaponic system. So there's different methods to do it, but now that that is empty, we'll use the bucket head to suck that up. There you can see that I got all the gunk sucked out of this filter. So that worked well, it did take some time. I don't think I will keep this bucket head filter just because it's not the strongest. It kind of stopped it multiple times when it was in the gunk, like it just couldn't pull it anymore. Also the hose isn't the longest. I mean, I could get an extension. It's nice for carrying around, it's light and for doing simple things, but for cleaning these filters, I don't think it's the best if I'm gonna do it this way. So that's the one way, just using the shop vac. And the other way that I was thinking of is basically, as I mentioned, gonna use this one. This aquarium or just a hose or anything just to suck it up. So that's what I'm gonna do on this guy right here. It is hard to do this with one hand, but otherwise I have the hose right there and then the other part right there. And with that little attachment at the bottom, all I need to do is pump it up and down. And now it's going. And then I pretty much just got to suck it from the bottom though. So you'll start to see that. So that's pretty much how it goes with this method. I just got it down in there. And then straight into that bucket. Pretty much if you have an aquarium, the same thing as like siphoning it. It is complicated doing with one hand, so I'll get this done. You can see all that good water right there, perfect plant fertilizer that I'll put out here on these trees. So I'll first basically pour it on these trees and then whatever I have left over, I'll put in the bucket. From the last filter I just cleaned, the one with the shot back, you can see all the gunk in here. So I'll just scoop this and put it on the plants, otherwise that's perfect fertilizer. If I need, I'll put it in more buckets. Otherwise I have all these trees that I can pour it on. So here's actually another method going off of the aquarium siphon. I have the siphon in the water. I started it. It's hooked up to a pump, so it's going to go a lot faster. And then I have the siphon in the water. Again, it's hard to do this with one hand to get it in the gunk, but you can see the hose turning, the water turning black right there. This one works with two people, so I have my mom over there just filling up the buckets. But pretty simple, I just had to get it started. Since these pumps don't pull air, you just gotta get water inside of it, inside of this tubing, then it will start. The pump's not the strongest, so the hose did kinda get clogged or the pump got stuck inside there. So if you're gonna do it this way, you definitely want a stronger pump just because you're having more solids going through it. Otherwise, theoretically, this method does work. I do have this pump that, that's a solids pump that I can try later on. I just don't have hoses or fittings for it. I got this filter completely cleaned out. I ended up finishing it off just with that shop vac or the bucket head vac, which is outside. It's not the best vacuum, I would say myself. It's not the strongest. As I mentioned, it did get stuck multiple times. So if I would do it that method, I would use or buy a different vacuum, either try to find a used pond vac or get a shop vac and put a, or convert it or retrofit it so that it will automatically drain out. So for this video, I only did these two sides or this one side with these two tanks on it in terms of cleaning. I'll clean those ones later on. I'll try to figure out a different method. I figured, realized while cleaning the two on the one side that I could, since I'll be doing the next ones, just put a 90 and raise it up. And then I can be able to put a bucket underneath there. Just because I still I do have room to do that because they are on a hill and are higher up, so that is a possibility. This one is I think higher than that guy, but same on this one. I could 90 it up and then have it get at the height to go to a five-gallon bucket, which would make it a lot easier and save a lot more time. 
I do have all the water over here. I think about four or five buckets full I poured on some trees. I'll leave this here and let it settle out. And then use the water for the plants and then everything that settles, all the gunk at the bottom, I'll put in my compost bin. That pretty much sums up this video. If you do have any questions or comments or suggestions on different ways how to clean out the filters, just leave those below. As I said, the best way I would think to do it is when you initially set it up, have it the plumbing, which I do have, it's just not completely done. I could do it, as I mentioned, with the buckets and every, or putting a 90 and raising up the pipe and doing that, which I might do for that size that side unless i can find a pump that can pull air as well as water then i can just have it on the ground and constantly suck it out which would be efficient otherwise i mean that's pretty much all for this video if you do want your aquaponics system or pond featured on my channel just hit me an email at bonaponics at gmail.com i'll leave that right there as well as in the description otherwise i appreciate the support and thank you for watching